simply defending their motherland, reclaiming their religion and sovereignty back, defending their values, honor, and dignity and freedom. You are our heroes and heroines. Today, we no longer want to live in silence. We have had enough. We are full of rage, motivated and determined than ever before to stand for our country, to defend its present and future from extremists and fundamentalists. We are indeed heartbroken, disappointed, neglected and mistreated, traumatized and wounded, bearing decades of civil unrest and violence. But this is not new. The lives lost from our uncles, cousins, generals, commanders, and sisters fighting for their basic human rights to this day in the streets of Kabul, Mazar, Kapisa, Ghazni, Herat, Daikundi, Ghor, and Panchir. Your resistance and voice are heard loud and clear. Freedom, freedom, freedom. Azadi, azadi, azadi. We are here to reject the barbaric, illiterate, uncivilized ideologies of the Taliban. This fascist terrorist group fundamentally contradicts democracy, pluralism, equality, and liberty for all. They're against progress progressivism, equality, freedom, freedom of speech and assembly, press, religion, and the right to vote in fair elections, all basic fundamental human rights that we practice here today. One thing is clear, our religion is being abused and taken advantage of. The Pakistani Taliban have distorted Islam as a religion of hate, misogyny, patriarchy, and oppression. Yet the Islam we follow and millions of Muslims around the world, the globe promotes brotherhood, respect, equality, justice, understanding, and tolerance. This is what Afghan men and women want and who have labored so hard for. The Taliban have used Islam to push and meet their political ends, destroying and demolishing all that we have so hard worked for for the past 20 years. All the beautiful art and murals are being spray painted, women and men segregated in schools and universities, Women barred from going to work, gain knowledge, participate in civil society alongside men in all sectors, and contribute their skill and expertise to make Afghanistan prosper socially, economically, and politically. Yet we are in full circle once more. Schools, hospitals, salons, businesses, and government buildings are being shut down. The Taliban are against civilization, progressive reforms, pushing their draconian laws and retrograde policies down our throats. This is not Taliban 2.0. Their true colors have been revealed. Do not fall for their manipulative propaganda. This is the same terrorist group who said backwards ideology is causing the genocide of our people. Thousands of Afghans to flee their country, protesting across the nation for peace, unity, justice, and freedom to prevail. We must not let history repeat itself. We will never recognize the imposed, illegitimate Islamic Emirate of Afghanistan as our current government. We are principally here to condemn Pakistan for invading our country through the blacklisted terrorist organization, the Taliban, for killing our youth and future generation. We are here to denounce the Pakistani intelligence service, ISI, for producing and training the Taliban. It is our duty and responsibility as Afghan Americans It is our duty and responsibility as Afghan Americans to preserve our country, history, identity, our people, and our culture. We are frustrated with America for leaving Afghanistan with the most morally bankrupt, oppressive regime to rule Afghanistan, violating international and humanitarian law, women's rights, and human rights. Right now, Afghanistan is in turmoil. The country is in a major humanitarian crisis. Thousands of citizens internally displayed, displaced, living in extreme and dangerous conditions, in poverty amidst this COVID pandemic. The province of Panjshir has been trapped by the Taliban terrorists. There is media blackout and cut off from basic necessities to its population, urgently needing food, 
medical supplies and humanitarian aid. The world has betrayed us. Our leaders have betrayed us. The Muslim world has betrayed us. Yet we will not surrender. We hope for peace, justice, and fundamental human rights to prevail in Afghanistan. So let's keep on protesting, lobbying, advocating, sharing on social media, reaching out to our representatives, holding our governments accountable, and staying steadfast in the national and international resistance to end the foreign occupation of Afghanistan from the terrorist Taliban. Thank you so much.